So win the morning, win the day. And when you win the day, you win the week. And when you win the week, you win the month. And when you win the month, you win the year. So how you start your morning is absolutely critical, <clears throat> you know, because I'm a big believer that when you start something well, you gain momentum, right? And you can really build up and grow from there. So how you start your morning is really important to the results you're going to get that day, how you're going to feel, etc. So what I thought I would do is share with you my own version of a miracle morning. Now, some of you may have heard of the book, The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. Great read. Check it out if you haven't actually seen it, uh, read it before. And in there, you're going to find some real important tips and things that you can do. But this is my version. So for me, it's so important that I get going in the right way each and every single day. And what you actually do for you will be different. You know, you've got to find your own flow. You've got to find what's right for you. So, you know, when you think about your routines, you know, it's a bit, I'm a big believer that routine equals results. So if you are consistent and you have great habits that you just naturally do because they are part and parcel of the way you carry yourself, etc., then you're going to achieve better results overall. So what does a good morning look like? Well, you might be saying, well, I'm not so sure it's relevant. I'm not actually a morning person. I'm more of an afternoon person or an evening person. So it is important that you're aware of your own energy. And, you know, I am naturally better in the morning. I find I am more alert. I have better ideas, etc. But, you know, even if you're not a morning person, how you start your day, even if that is starting at 10 a.m., for you, uh, how you start is is going to really set the tone for what lies ahead. So let's get into into this. So there's an acronym that I'm going to take you through called SAVERS. OK, and each letter stands for something. So this is how I start my morning. So there might be some ideas here that you can actually bring into your own morning routines. So the first thing is, you know, take a good look at how you actually uh, start your day today, currently. And then just think about, is that serving me? Is it setting me up for success? Or actually, is it not really allowing me to start with gusto, with energy, with enthusiasm? And there might be some changes that you want to make. So, you know, grab a pen and paper. I'm going to, you might want to make some notes. If you are watching this on YouTube. Thank you ever so much. That's great. Please do click on that subscribe because that means that then you will be notified every time we go live with a, with a video. If you're listening to this on the podcast, again, Brave Bold Brilliant, please do subscribe. And if you're enjoying Brave Bold Brilliant, we always really appreciate it if you can leave a, a review. That's wonderful. And don't forget, we also have our website, which is www.brave-bold-brilliant.com. And on there, you're going to find loads of resources. So click on the resource section, lots of downloadable guides, video content, things that are going to help you on your leadership journey. And, you know, whether you're running your business or you just want to actually have a more fulfilled life overall. So come and join the community of Brave Bold Brilliant. And if we're not connected on social media, let's get connected. But most importantly, let's come back to the topic. How do you set yourself up for success? What's the perfect morning routine? Well, as I say, let's go through this acronym of SAVERS. So S stands for silence. So when I get up in the morning, I, you know, I get out of bed. I normally put my training kit on first of all, because then I know that I've got no excuse to not go for a walk or to go to the gym or do my exercise, etc. So that's one thing that I do even before I start my morning routine, really. Um, so anyway, the, the silence part is really around giving yourself some time just to be on your own. Just let that 
quietness calm you down maybe think about you know what you're grateful for i practice gratitude every morning and i think about what are the three things that i am really grateful for it's very difficult to be upset and negative and feel grateful at the same time so immediately you're in that mindset of you know kind of joy and happiness really so that's the s for silence a is for affirmations Okay, so affirmations. What's an affirmation? An affirmation is where you say out loud what you actually want to achieve. So for you, it might be something related to family or fitness or your business or your career. And you might be thinking around sort of more short term or indeed you might be thinking, well, where do I want to be in five years time? But when you say things out loud, it feels real. And, you know, when you're actually doing that, it becomes almost like a mantra and, you know, if you like to walk or do your exercise, sometimes you can actually do your affirmations almost like as a as a as a meditation in motion, if you like. So that's the A. That's the affirmations part. The V is visualization. Now, again, this is super, super powerful. I'm a big believer that when you put things out into the world, good will come back. And it's amazing how if you can visualize your future in a really granular level of detail you know really imagine what's it going to be like what's it going to feel like who's who's around you when you are visualizing that future maybe you're looking to build a new house you know we're going to be building our new house um so i'm visualizing what is it going to be like once that is built what's it going to be like having the housewarming party who's going to be there so you, the more detail you can put into that visualization of the future state the more likely it is that it's going to actually happen uh, for you so that's the visualization e exercise for me if i am not training and exercising i just don't feel on my game you know, I feel out of out of kilter. I don't feel as energized as I normally would be. So that's a non-negotiable for me. And um, I've certainly felt it more recently because I've had knee surgery, which has meant I've been less active. But exercise. Now, you don't necessarily have to be a gym bunny. You know, it might be that it's just something as simple as going for a walk or maybe doing yoga in the morning, but some form of movement. Um, you know, we've got to look after our, our, our physical well-being as well as our mental well-being. So this morning routine, it does both of these. But exercise is great. I find I get some of my best ideas. Or if I'm feeling really stressed, it's such a great way to de-stress, to kind of recalibrate, to put things into perspective. You know, so it really is a huge, huge part of, of kind of, I think, what has allowed me to achieve what I've achieved in life. Or when I've had really difficult situations, maybe there's, you know, a bereavement or a loss in some relationship. It's great to be able to sort of process that as well. So the E is for exercise. The R is for reading. So I read 10 pages of a book every morning. Now, at least 10 pages, sometimes it's more depending on the time I've got. But essentially, whether that's a business book, a mindset book, whatever might be your thing. But reading is a great way of, again, personal development, learning some stuff. You may be um, more of an audio person, actually. So that you may replace the reading for, for listening to a book on, on audio or a podcast, etc. But I personally love to read. So that's my thing. But then the S is for scribing. So writing stuff down. Journaling is really powerful. Uh, lots of people that I know that I work with as well. Um, in fact, I was with a friend last night, Liz, and she was talking about how she likes to journal and it really helps her. So if that's your thing, you know, writing something down, I think sticks in your brain <laughs> a lot more. Now, for me, what I do is when I'm reading whatever book I'm reading, I take notes. I'm a little bit of a, a geek in that sense, but that's what works for me. Um, as I say, journaling is really powerful because, again, it helps... One, capture your thoughts and emotions at the time. Two, you might have some great ideas that you don't want to lose. And, and it also is very clearly aligned with the visualization piece, with the affirmations, etc. So that is my miracle morning. I fiercely, fiercely protect my morning time. Now, it's not always easy. 
You know, you might have young children, you might have other commitments that, that happen in the morning, you might have a very, very early start, you might even work night shifts, for example. But whatever, whatever you can do to set yourself up for the day, you're going to reap the benefits. So, you know, as I said, let's just quickly recap. S is for silence, spending time in silence, bit of meditation, thinking about what you're grateful for. A, affirmations, saying out loud what you want so that it becomes a reality, followed by visualization, really thinking and feeling what that future state is going to be for you. So it almost is done. You, know, you can imagine yourself there. You can imagine yourself on that Caribbean beach or, you know, in that new great role that you're looking to, to get promoted into or starting your business or in relationship, you know, so really visualize what you want. So that's the that's the V. E is for exercise, get moving. Physical well-being is intrinsically linked to your mental well-being. So absolutely a core part of starting the day well. R is for reading, educating yourself, learning something. And the S is for scribing, so writing things down. You know, it would be a crime to live a life less than you're capable of. And every single one of you has got greatness in you. It's how you unlock it. But putting that time in to, you know, yourself, what you want to achieve and just protecting that, starting your day in the right way means that, you know, there are no limits to your growth. So if you win the morning, you win the day. And if you win the day, you win the week. And if you win the week, you win the month. And if you win the month, hopefully you win the year. So it really does all um, hang together very nicely. So have a think about your own morning routine. I'd encourage you to do that. And think about where you might be able to bring in some of these elements in a way that's appropriate for you. We're all different. So find what is going to be good for you. So that's it for today. Um, as I say, please, let's get connected. Do check out the website www.brave-bold-brilliant.com for all those free resources. Love it for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and to the podcast, Brave, Bold, Brilliant. And just remember, there are no limits to your growth, but don't neglect you. It's so important you invest time in you. And part of that is actually how you start your day. So go out there, smash it, no limits at all. And just remember, it is by being brave and bold that you're going to unlock your brilliant. Take care, everyone. Bye.